Today I learned that I mean, you're in the, in the US. US. What? We are in the US. Yes. Today I learned. Is all our listeners in the US? No. There's like 20 something percent is in Britain. Uh, Today I learned. Not part of us. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to start. <laughs> I keep interrupting you. Today I learned. What? Today I learned. <laughs> <laughs> you interrupted yourself. Welcome to Rocket to Anywhere. I'm Corban. And I am Sophia. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. We always start off with follow-up on the previous episode. Also, if it's your last time here, thanks for being here. <laughs> thank you for being with us. Anyway, uh, oh, I misspelled this in my show notes. Anyway, You misspell um, everything. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you don't even misspell your own name. I misspelled my own company's name. Oh, that's true. You did that in his video. And I misspelled the month that I was born in. Yep. And I put the comma in the wrong place in a set of three items. I'm glad mine is only four letters. Follow up. Dollar bill tracking does exist, and it's really cool. I checked it out this morning. It's at wheresgeorge.com, link in the show notes, and you can track any bill from 1969 or newer across the world. And they had this little chart example there. And you could see where the dollar bill's been and what it was used for. So it says, like, it was used to buy a chocolate bar or it was used to purchase a phone or something like that. It's really cool. Uh, When you go to the website, there's a live feed on the sidebar as well that tracks all the money that's coming in and where it is and where it's going. And uh, I want to see if we can try it one day, but if you're interested in looking at this or tracking your own money, fives, tens, twenties, I think you can do up to $100 bills even. Uh, You can just enter their serial numbers at wheresgeorge.com. And there's a link to that in the show notes at rta.space slash 28. Next in follow-up, last week's word of the day, or previous episode, episode 27's word of the day, was uh, furfy, which was like, uh, uh, like, what was it? A fake, I don't know. We said it's like fake news, I guess you could say. It shouldn't be called learn a word if I don't even remember. <laughs> anyway, so we wondered it had something to do with water or something, so I searched it, and here's what it is. John Furphy was a blacksmith best known for his Furphy water carts that were an important part of Australia's history. The Furphy water carts appeared throughout the country and were used by the army in World War I. The Australian slang term furphy is for an unbelievable story or rumor that is believed to derive from the use of the water carts as a gathering place for soldiers to swap gossip. Wow. And they were basically like like these water tanks, as it says, where you would just go and get a cup and you could fill up your cup with water or your canteen back then, I guess. So, yeah. That was not what we were expecting, but that's what it is. Our last piece of follow-up today is there's an Easter chicken. It actually exists. Oh, yeah, our dad told uh, told us that on the way to church. But it's actually not called an Easter chicken. It's called an Easter egger. It says, uh, an Easter egger is any chicken that possesses the blue egg gene. The name derives from the resemblance of their colorful eggs. Link traits? Oh, don't go there. Don't go there. (laughs) Yeah, anyway, <laughs> basically, the eggs they lay are, like, green, orange, red, pink. They're really different colors. And if you want to see a picture of these eggs, you can go to the show notes. I have one linked there, Blonde too. feathers. Now on to thought of the week. Sophia, go ahead. Okay. I have two because they're short. Okay. When people say, uh, my house is on fire, it's really that nothing is on fire. It's just that fire is on something. You get it? Not really, but people have the ability to pause it and figure it out. <sighs> Here's how it's written. Nothing is on fire. It's just that fire is on things. People complain. This is you, Corban. Okay, this is you. This is not me. People complain about watching a show with subtitles because they can't concentrate on what's going on. That's me. Okay? I and watch then, everything with subtitles. And then, yes, and then Corban says... 
uh, that he complains when there's no subtitles on because he feels like he's missing what the people are saying. Yes. I want shows with captions or subtitles on. Actually, captions are if the thing below the screen, if the words are in your language, and subtitles are if what you're watching is in another language and you need it translated to your language. Anyway, I watched... Get it. Learned. <laughs> anyway, I watch things with captions on because... I'm really fast reader, so I read it really fast, and then I'm able to pay attention to the acting or the directing or the way the That's shot was. How you was... ruin it for yourself? You don't want to watch a movie with me. I pause it every two seconds and, and... criticize it. Yes, and criticize it. When someone in your neighborhood is having a barbecue and the smell like drafts towards you, it must be the same feeling sharks have when they smell blood in the water. Mm, no, because I don't like barbecue well yeah i mean but you know where there's barbecue there's dessert mm, you, can't, from you can't really smell barbecue i mean you can't smell dessert public service announcement oh i don't do those <laughs> that's your public service announcement i don't do that but well, mine yeah, is taking candy from a baby would actually be a responsible thing to do if it's hard candy yeah. Actually, all candy is hard candy because chocolate is not candy. Well, no, I would give a baby chocolate, but not like yes, a... Yes, but chocolate's not candy, so it is. Not a dum-dum or a, like a lifesaver. Dum-dums or dums like make that. you dumb. Now it's time for Learn a Word. Don't got it. Uh, we were really, I was recently on a trip, and I had a bunch of people come up and say hi to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What trip did you go on that I didn't go? Oh, I went... <laughs> I just told her what, and she was like, oh, yeah, I remember. Anyway, yeah, he was acting like a tourist and listening to all people's conversations. Anyway, pe- a lot of which people... Which is helpful. A lot of people recognized me and said hi and stuff. One person... It's said, funny how the people who know him didn't recognize him, but the people who don't know him recognize him. Yeah. Well, you had a waiter recognize you, but she didn't say anything. Oh, yeah, she was asking for my trash. <laughs> it's like, I'd, I need to find a reason to go say something. Yeah, she's like, oh, do you guys have trash? Okay, if you're listening, I'm not trying to make fun of you. So anyway, today's Learn a Word is, relating to our trip, is fanfarinade. Fan okay, that's farinade. your trip. I don't know what trip you took, but that, okay. F-A-N-F-A-R-O-N. Wait, processing? A-D-E. Talking about Owen, we found out Owen from Odd Squad is a kid who plays DW on you Arthur. You found that out. I knew since the moment that the, the DW started sounding like that. Well, and I, found, I told you I every fa- single time I and you didn't hear me. I found out two days ago and now it's ruined me. I can't watch Arthur anymore. Ooh, good. You can finally do something productive in life. Anyway, fanfarinade means to brag. So, I, we- I, I'd rather say brag than fin whatever. <laughs> That's too hard to say. Fan whatever, you know. <laughs> fan, fan. Oh, yeah, all your fans. Chips. No, I don't want to fan far and add about my fans. Okay, you know what? Just scratch that. Okay, let's move on to joke time. Everyone's favorite part of every single show is to say every single week. Really? Yeah. Why does a hummingbird hum? I haven't the foggiest idea. Because it doesn't know the word. What did Benjamin Franklin say when he discovered electricity? Eureka. Nothing. He was too shocked. Oh, come on. I finally said something smart. And that joke, I'm going to just start reading the names off where I'm getting these jokes from. Wait, wait, wait. Is the kid 11? No. It's Megan S. 14 from Ponca City, Oklahoma. Why don't you ever see a rabbit wearing glasses? I don't know. Because carrots never fail. Huh. Our guinea pig needs glasses. Even though he eats carrots. He walks into stuff all the time. He's blind. Why was the math book so stressed out? Wait. Because it has so many problems. Yes. Okay. That was from Timothy H. from Bellevue, Washington. Did you hear about the injured vegetable? I did not. Maybe I ate him. No, it's injured, not eaten. Oh. Okay. Uh, Some say he got beet. Wait, a beet is not a vegetable. It is. 
Ah, wait. Okay, so there should be fruit, and then there should be vegetables, and then there should be other. Because <laughs> <laughs> and that's re- exclusively like, reserved for tomatoes and beets. No beets and potatoes and. Like you know the stuff that what do you shouldn't mean be a fruit and shouldn't be a, a vegetable. Potatoes are vegetables. I know, but they shouldn't be vegetables and they shouldn't be fruits. What did the cat say when its friend said something unbelievable? No, that's what the cat said. Oh. Huh. <laughs> oh no, it said, Are you kidding me? Uh, were they kittens? That's from Ava S in I Plymouth, Indiana. Why was the broom late? Uh, it got swept off its feet. No, because it overswept. Uh. Why can't a nose ever grow 12 inches long? Because then you'd be lying? No, because then it would be a foot. Uh. And that's from Elsie S. from Savannah, Georgia. That is the best one I've ever heard from a Clubhouse magazine. No, there have been better ones. For me, not. What kind of crackers do firemen like in their soup? I don't know. Fire crackers. They wouldn't like that. They would have to have the fire engine. You know, I wonder if there's ever... Water a f- engine? A f- <laughs> yeah. Well, I wonder if there's ever like a fire at a fire station. What do the firefighters do? Do they they call? run outside, then they get in their truck, pull out. Drive around the block and, and come out, back. And they pull out and they drive right in front of it. And then they get out and do their procedure. And then they pull back in if it's not all destroyed. And then they just, you know. Because, I mean, I, I would, if I was a firefighter and the firehouse set on fire, I would call Actually, wait, why would it set on fire if the firefighters are supposed to be careful? Maybe it's like that book we read with the guy who cooked spaghetti in the firehouse. Well, yeah, but that's not bad. It's just a thought, I guess. Last joke. What do you feed a sad baby? Wait. Oh, I don't know. Cheerios. And that's from Paige L. in Moorhead, Minnesota. Okay, next subject. An upcoming holiday. Next subic? Uh, you uh, said next subic. <laughs> subject uh, segment. May 17th is National Pack Rat Day. National what? Pack Rat Day. Ooh, we got a rat that we can pack. <laughs> it's The description said, uh, it's a day to cherish your junk. Oh. Not a holiday we can do. <laughs> okay. Today we were brought to you by listeners like you, who rate and review us on iTunes. Actually, we can do the holiday, we just don't want to do the holiday. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, please take, take some time t- to review us on iTunes, give us five stars, give us a little review, or something like that. Share the show with your friends. Just be sure to uh, review us on iTunes or whatever app you use. Okay, now let's move on to Today I Learned. Okay, for Sophia, she didn't want to admit it. What she just no, found no, 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 out. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So say what it was. Magnets work in water. No, it's I. I asked this. Do magnets work in water? Yeah, and she and didn't believe it. No, no. The the cheap magnets that we have on the <laughs> refrigerator. <laughs> She's talking about like the letter magnets. Yes, those do not work in water. Okay, unless you have like the good quality. Uh, every yeah, season. But I ones. took like. And I have two strong magnets, and I got a big bowl of water, and I stuck them in there. And I'm like, come watch, because you're going to be, your brain's going to explode. Like, they stick together. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, totally, yeah, yeah. They're always stuck in water. Yes, the strong ones stick in water. What I meant was the ones that we have on the refrigerator. Well, the yeah, those ones. those don't even work in, the, in normal. They don't even work <laughs> They don't even work without water. Oh, well, yeah. And, and They don't work at all. <laughs> Today I learned that here in the U.S., people who turn 100 years old will receive a letter from the president congratulating them on their longevity. They will also get mentioned on the Today Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's jivity. Longevity. Jivity. 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 
longevity. Okay, wait, how do you spell it? L O N G E V. Oh, it's one word? I T Y, yeah, longevity. Never mind. They will also get mentioned on the Today Show, and depending on what country they originate from, or if they came here from another country, they will also receive some sort of um, thing. Uh, For example, if their former country was Japan, they call them centurions. Centurions will receive a certificate and a silver cup. I think those are... Cool. (laughs) Cool, yeah. Oh, and, and people, the reason I never have a Today Learned... It's totally not because I never learn anything, okay? Yeah, sitting there all day watching Disney sitcoms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, I totally only thing don't she's learn learning anything, is how to how how to become a bad actor. No, no, no. I like to think of it as how to improve your acting skills. <laughs> no, I like to think of it as <laughs> how not to act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're better, sure. Better, better. It's like Cleo from Clifford, like failing with the ball and she's like okay I'm teaching you 100 ways not to throw a ball yeah okay even though I can throw a ball really good now it's time for why 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 do the worst in okay in my opinion this is all in my opinion remember okay don't get mad at me please don't get mad at me I will get mad because I'm sitting right next to you (laughs) why do the worst PBS kids shows have the longest run time or longest air time and the best shows aren't even played anymore. Okay. Okay, I agree with the first part. The second part is not true. Well, you, okay, listen. Look, you look at uh, Sesame Street. We're not a big fan of the new Sesame Street. That's not even... It wasn't even worth it when it was good. Yeah, like the best part was Elmo's World and that was all. I never liked Sesame Street. I just had to watch it for an hour because of Corbani you wanted to watch it. Just for that one episode we had to watch it. Excuse me, you watched it every single Monday. Every Monday? What are you talking about? Yes, back when we have TV and we were sitting in front of it for four oh, yeah, hours. Oh, yeah, but we would just watch and Elmo's And somehow World. we still had really, really good grades. It's amazing. No. <laughs> anyway, no, but look, Sesame Street goes for an hour. Wild Kratts goes for an hour. I don't I don't. Wild Kratts is sh- good. No, no. The Zubumafu is better. Hey, 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 you said nobody argue. Fine. Just got an opinion. Read your history. I have, I have an opinion. Yes, Wild, uh, Wild Kratts is worse than worse. Worse is not a word, but it's worse than more worse. More is not supposed to be used in, in for in front of worse. It's badder. Badder is not a word. <laughs> Just say it's worse. It's terrible. Or <laughs> no, I can't come up with a word. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're here terrible, we go. worse, and bad are Zabumafu, already bad enough. Zabumafu is better than Wild Kratts. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It's much it better. wasn't good then. It wasn't good now. Yes, it is. Anyway. No, it's not. Yeah, I think it's the not so great shows are the ones that had the longest airtime, but apparently those are the ones the kids like. So, yeah. Just because it's aired that long does not mean that the kids like it. Okay. Well, it's now under topics time, and conveniently, today's uh, first topic... That he wants to do, I do not want to do this. What do you mean? You didn't even hear me say it. We're going to be talking about... Excuse me, we plan ahead. We're going to be talking about, real quick, the uh, Family Night shows that are coming up over the next few months. That's our topic? Just, well, for a little bit. We're going to talk about this real quick. So, a few weeks back, uh, I emailed... Um, some PBS press people asking them if I could get some more information about their new 24-7 live streaming channel. And they sent me back a bunch of stuff. And included in there was a document with a list of every single one of the new movies they'll be releasing up to 2018. So, uh... Wait, what are we talking about? The new PBS Kids uh, movie shows. Movies that are going to be playing. Oh. Okay, so... I don't watch those. I didn't get all the dates. Well, the reason why she hasn't watched them is because the ones that they've released so far are just like reruns of previous shows. I actually haven't watched PBS Kids in a um, month and a half. Okay, anyway, so I'm not going to be reading the reruns. Uh, I'm just going to be reading the new ones that are coming out. So first, the day this ep- podcast is released, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Tiger Family Trip will be airing. This is a brand new thing. And um, I'm just going to be summarizing what they're going to be about. So it says, um, 
in an all-new one-hour special, Tiger Family heads out on the road trip to Grand Prairie's. You can say it word for word because I bet none of these people are going to watch it. Okay. The next one, this is the one I'm looking forward to the most out of all of them over this year. This is going to be airing June 2nd through June 4th. And this is Arthur, DW, and the Beastly Birthday. In this all-new Arthur movie event, DW's fifth birthday doesn't go the way she had always imagined it would. And she decides to escape to the magical Wait, island. Wait, I thought she already turned six. No, she's four, and Arthur's eight. It's like an endless cycle of them turning five, then becoming four again. Yeah. Because, like, if you stacked all the Arthur episodes up in a, in the right timeline, it would look really weird. Because, like, one episode, Arthur's mailing postcards, and there's no internet, the next episode would be, like, Arthur emailing someone on a smartphone. Anyway, uh, then it says, but instead of transporting him to outer space, Arthur, uh, Arthur skips the birthday party, transports him to four years in the future. That's going to be one hour, June 2nd through 4th, airing at 6 p.m. Central Time, uh, convert to thing. Nature Cat Ocean Commotion, and that's there's no date for this one yet, but it's going to be in June 2017. Wildcats Alaska Hero's Journey, and this is the working title. They don't have an actual title for it yet. It's going to be in July. Ready, Jet, Go, Return to Boardtron 7. That will be airing August 2017. And that's when Jet parents need to return to their home planet. Sean and Sydney join the Propulsion family for one epic adventure to Boardtron 7. That will be followed by Arthur in the Haunted Treehouse in October 2017. Once Upon a Sesame Street Christmas uh, in November 2017. Splash and Bubbles Pole to Pole in December and Odd Squad World Turned New. That's the second Odd Squad movie. And that will be in January of 2018. Before I end the show, though, I just wanted to say real quick, um, before I get to the announcements, uh, that I ended my uh, YouTube channel, Corbon Tech, uh, yesterday, Friday. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have more time to be able to work on Rocket to Anywhere and other projects, which will be coming out soon. And a mystery project. You are not going to want to miss it. So to keep updated, you can follow me on Twitter at Corbon Garcia or check my website, CorbonGarcia.com. So thank you for listening. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. And you can find the best way to subscribe anywhere you are, iPhone, Android, computer, iPad, wherever it is, at rta.space slash listen. Also, again, please review us on iTunes. If you have not taken the time to do so, please do. If you have any suggestions, you can email us, rocket2anywhereshow at gmail.com, or you can tweet us, at RTA Show. And show notes for this episode are available at rta.space slash 28. You can watch our videos at youtube.com slash RTA Space. And don't forget to follow the show on Twitter, at RTA Show. Or you can follow Sophia on Instagram, at extra underscore Sophia. And Sophia is spelled S-O-F-I-A, because apparently people are confused about that. That's all for this week, and now, this rocket has landed. Mm-hmm.